Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today we're talking about Roblox's new avatar editor restrictive update. Yeah, long story short guys, Roblox released this really terrible update. Those of you that are using Android, iOS, and I think Chromebooks as well, are probably mostly encountering this, but I have heard of some people on PC which are also getting this error. Or I guess it's not really an error, it's more of like an official Roblox thing, which is just so irritating. So you guys know the avatar editor, right? Um, we use it every single day, or at least every time we want to customize our Roblox avatars. However, Roblox has made it where if you're using like a mobile device or a Chromebook or something like that, or maybe an emulator, if you go onto the avatar editor to try and customize your avatar, they try and force you to open up the Roblox app. Now, so far, like I said, this is mostly happening on mobile stuff. However, this is honestly something I could see Roblox pushing onto just like the regular website anyway, because you know the Roblox desktop app, they've got their whole like avatar editor on there. It kind of sucks people don't really like using it people always prefer to use the website version because of course we've got extensions and things so yeah maybe in the future roblox will push that update onto you know website users as well i hope not anyway the good news is i found out how to fix this because it's so annoying now i found this guy that was super angry about this so i'm gonna read out his tweets then i'm gonna show you guys how i fixed it i got this working so yeah check this out shout out to duck here and i'm gonna read this hang on let me just get into his like uh, angry mindset so <clears throat> Okay, let's go. Bro, can somebody who works at Roblox tell them to bring back the Roblox avatar editor on the Roblox website? I hate the desktop app. It's always buggy and never works for me. I'm ABT to go insane. Fix your goddamn game. So there you go. As you can tell, um, yeah, Duck is not too happy and rightfully so. I'd be pretty annoyed if I went to edit my avatar and it told me to open up the Roblox app. He's not wrong, right? Even on my decent gaming PC, sometimes that thing just lags it's buggy it's horrible pretty much right we don't want to use it now i just want to say i did notice this guy was using a chromebook you can pretty much tell by these icons he's got down here as you can tell of this uh, menu as well it's definitely not a windows pc now unfortunately i don't own a chromebook myself actually maybe fortunately i don't want one they're terrible but i'm going to show you guys how to fix this anyway um i'm going to be using my android phone for demonstrations because like i said this is also happening on mobile so yeah let me show you how to fix this so if you are using a Chromebook, you are good to go ahead and use Google Chrome, but because I'm using Android in today's video, also if you guys are using iOS, I'm pretty sure we've got Kiwi browser on iOS as well. So yeah, I'm going to be using the Kiwi browser fast and quiet. Now, the reason why I'm going to be using this on my phone is because with Kiwi guys, you can actually add extensions, which is pretty awesome because normally on Chrome on Android, I don't think you can do that, or at least if you can, it's like super buggy and just horrible to use. So yeah, Kiwi, a really good browser. Normally, I wouldn't really install stuff like this, but to be fair, I've had Kiwi for years and I actually quite like using it for a random obscure browser, which is not mega popular. It's actually really good. I'm just adding this in the video here. I just found out for iOS. Um, there is an app called Orion. I don't know where my iPhone is. Um, I'll probably be doing this video on my Android device, but if you guys are running iOS and um, you want to give this a try, then go for it. It's pretty much the same method. You can basically just install extensions and the extension we're going to be getting. So like I said, if you're on Chromebook, you can just get this straight away. We're using user agent switcher for Chrome. Of course, this also works with Kiwi. So yeah, we're going to get this on my phone. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll go on my Android phone now and I'll just show you how to get it working. So here we are guys on my Android phone. As you can see, I'm logged into my alt account. So Skeleton King, this is just some random account which I sometimes use in videos. And yeah, pretty much guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the avatar editor. I just want to show to you guys, yep, I've definitely got this error or, you know, annoying update basically. So what we're going to do guys, we're going to click on the three dots. We're going to scroll down to extensions. Then we're going to go to from store. Of course, I just showed you use agent switcher we're going to go and search for it so then just go and select it and we are going to click on add to chrome we want to install this thing so click on ok don't worry it's perfectly safe we've been using this thing for years so then guys you can safely go back to roblox it should now be installed so back onto roblox guys this is the main thing you want to do go on the three dots scroll down now click on the extension you should be able to find it we're going to go on firefox and then we're going to select windows firefox 33 after you select this the page is going to refresh and when you open up your avatar editor, guess what? We fixed it. Now, the reason why this fixes the glitch is because it confuses or sort of tricks your browser into thinking you're using a desktop PC. And obviously, this is what we want because we don't really want to use the Roblox mobile app. It kind of sucks, especially when you're trying to make a cool avatar, you know? So there you go, guys. That is how you fix it. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but a really good workaround. And to be honest, I can't even see Roblox fixing this because the user agent switcher has been a thing for ages. 
I remember it used to work with other things on the Roblox website and I'm pretty sure they never got patched or fixed either. So yeah, I guess this trick is going to work forever basically. I'll be sure to link everything down below in the description. So both browsers for Android, iOS, also the extension. If you use a Chromebook, basically just get it straight away. And I guess that's it. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to and um, yeah, see ya.